hi, I'm Kenneth. I'm Sing Rong. And our daughter, Kaya Rose, is sleeping. This is our place. We've been living here for about... Three years. This is a four-room BTO in Bukit Batok. So when you walk into that space, you get to see this amazing marble table. It is the dining area and this place where I host uh, my families and friends. So when you walk towards the window area, you will be surprised because this view is amazing. Uh, it is both the urban landscape uh, together with greenery. And it's always a talking point. People come over here and say, wow, so beautiful. So when we are deciding on our place, we look at the different available options for BTO and resale flats. Um, but we went with BTO eventually because it's something we thought that Singaporeans can enjoy. Eventually, we decided on Bukit Batok because it's near my parents' place. Uh, it's a non mature estate. And also, there are many, many supermarkets nearby. So we dated for about four years. He asked the question, do you want to get a flat? Honestly, uh, I was quite surprised as well because it's like a mini proposal. Um, but that time, we were still studying, so I was thinking how do we finance and uh, work towards wedding as well as housing. And because we were students at the point of time, uh, our income was about $1,500, uh, which is much lower than the ceiling of $9,000. But recently, we heard that the ceiling has been raised to $14,000, which is awesome. Uh, so more young working Singaporean couples can consider BTO as their first home. We are proud to make the space our own. Uh, we designed it exactly the way we wanted it and it's uniquely ours. We were able to spend more on the renovation because uh, we saved quite a fair bit due to the housing grant. We are eligible for about $48,000 in grants, so the flat was very affordable for us. To make the space cosy, we actually used dark hue, warm up with gold colour accents item. So you can actually see this genre in many parts of the house. Okay, especially in the master bathroom where we followed the, this genre closely. This is so that we can get a mini staycation hotel feel even at home. Okay, for our master bedroom, we didn't follow the typical arrangement. We kept the bed really low so that it opens up the room. Then in our powder room, that's exciting because it's not the typical toilet. We actually use waterproof wallpaper. We got the idea online and we decided to try it. In our baby's room, a lot of things are not built in, so we can shift things around and cater to her needs as she's growing up. So it's also our philosophy to have the house evolve with our lifestyle and as she grows up. Compared to my parents' place, which is a five-room flat, which is huge, okay, our place is smaller, cosier and much more manageable to clean. Actually, I don't think the size of the flat matters that much. Uh, it really depends on how you design the space, make the space livable for you and work well with your lifestyle. And we can see ourselves living here for a long time. We have to go now. Baby's waking up. <laughs>